The forthcoming successor to the original Cayman GT4 will stick with a naturally aspirated flat 6 engine despite the arrival of a turbocharged flat 4 in the Porsche 718 Cayman. The engine is expected to be a detuned version of the new 911 GT3's 4.0-liter flat 6, although power is expected to increase over the previous generation's 380 bhp. 400 bhp plus is expected. Natural aspiration is one of our main usps, said Andreas Preuminger, head of GT car development at Porsche. At Motorsport. We think we can achieve throttle response and immediacy a little bit better with an atmospheric high revving engine than any kind of turbo. He also confirmed there are no plans to create any four-cylinder GT cars. The bolstered performance means the car's 0 to 62 miles per hour time will be cut from the previous generation car's 4.4 sec, while its 183 miles per hour top speed is also likely to rise slightly. Just like the previous car, the 2019 GT4 isn't expected to weigh any more than the Cayman GTS, so Porsche will likely keep the car's weight below 1,450 kg. 2015's Cayman GT4 rated Porsche GT's parts bin for components to make the car more focused, and it'll be no different for the 2019 model as Porsche seeks to increase the focus of its sports car lineup with variants like the 911 Carrera T and the 911 GT3 Touring Package. Autocar has speculated that the next Cayman GT4 will be powerful enough to wear the RS badge, reserved for Porsche's most hardcore models, and Preuninger dropped a broad hint that it will come with both manual and PDK gearbox options. The aim is to always have the choice, he said. Now we've started with that strategy with the GT3, let's hope that it pays off. Preuninger also said Porsche will crack down on speculators who buy GT cars to flip for a profit rather than to drive. If you do it, you won't get the next car, he said. The previous Cayman GT4 was priced from £64,451, around £10,000 more than the Cayman GTS. If a similar pricing strategy is employed this time around, it'll cost just shy of £70,000, 